Friday the 13th featured a scary number of games in the game, exactly 13, in the year of 2013. Don't get spooky though, it's all about goals, saves and other cool stuff. More on that in a second. My name is Andrea Sashenko and this is your daily KHL update. Nikita Loshkin and Medlaok Novokuznets visit Andre Mezin and Avangard, a must win for the home team. We pick it up from the second, Denis Kulash passes it to Sergei Kalinin, he muscles his way into the slot and he finds the back of the net with his force of the season. Avangard takes the lead, 1-0. This guy seems to be particularly excited about that. But Mallor finds a way to spoil his mood a few minutes later as Vladislav Kartaev beats Andrei Mezin 5-hole for his third and we're all living on the scoreboard again, 1-1. Late in the second now, Avangard in a power play, Dmitry Simon is in the office, feeds Nikita Pivtakin in front, and he scores his second of the year to make it 2-1 Avangard. Nice job by Kalinin getting the puck to Simon from the scrum. And with just 12 seconds left in the period, Sergei Kastitsin goes for a nice dick in the slot, loses the puck, but it goes straight to Kalinin, and he scores his second of the night. It's 3-1 Avangard after 40, and Sergei Kalinin has 3 points on the night. Rocky Igor Martinov gets one back for Kuznets, he scores his fifth of the year early in the third and they get a chance to seal a few points from Avangard. 3-2. Nikita Loshkin stays perfect in the final frame, stopping all 14 shots he had to face and he pulls off some very decent saves while at that too. The kid's got some real skill. And Andre Mezin has to make a huge save with just seconds left on the clock to make sure Avangard gets all three points on all ice. Nerve-wracking finish for Rams, but they get through. 3-2 Avangard final. Boris Astana hosts Sibir tonight, these guys are flying high in the east. And Boris scores first on this one, Maxim Semyonov puts the puck on net, Nikolai and Shropov tips it, it ends up behind the net and Roman Starchenko scores his 14th on a wraparound. Good hard working goal, 1-0 Boris. And they will get a 2-0 lead before the first intermission as well. Konstantin Romanov wins the foot race against Alexander Kutuzov and pots his fourth on a breakaway. Nice finish by Romanov and Sibir has allowed two unanswered goals now. Midway through the second, Boris makes it 3 0 as Dustin Boyd tips it in on a power play. It looks like Sibir is dumb for the night. And that's when the star of Igor Ignatoskin starts to shine. First, he scores his second of the season as he picks up the loose change in the slot and beats Vitaly Yurimeev. That's one, but there's still a long way to go. Two minutes later, Ignatoskin shoots from the left circle. Yurimeev stops him, rebound, and Alexei Kapeki puts it in. He pulls Sibir within one with his seventh. Two goals in two minutes for Sibir. Third period now, Dmitry Mona has the puck, he digs, burns past Michael and Dean in the slot for Ignatoshkin, scores! Ignatoshkin has his second of the night after a superb pass by Mona and Sibir ties this game up with threes. And if that wasn't amazing enough, here's the punchline. Mona to Ignatoshkin, back to Mona in the slot, tips it, scores! Ignatoshkin picks up his fourth point of the night and Sibir comes back from 3-0 to win it 4-3 in regulation on the road. Absolutely phenomenal performance by Ignatoshkin. Very unlikely here is probably the first star of the day. Mike Keenan brings Manolok Magnitogos with KHL's top scorer Sergei Mazakin to play against Konstantin Kaltsov and Atlan. This one is gonna be tight. We pick it up from the second, Yaroslav Kovarov sends a long pass to Yaroslav Kosov. He's in on a breakaway, stopped by Stanislav Galimov. When you play Atlan, you really have to score on opportunities like that. Their D is very solid. But even the best defensive-minded teams open up when it's 4-4 hockey. Team Brand makes an amazing discreet pass to Denis Zaripov in the slot, further on to Chris Lee. He has time, aims, shoots, scores! Lee nets his 10th of the year, he still leads KHL defenseman in points and that's a vital goal on this one, 1-0 one Magnitka. And Sergei Mazakin almost makes it 2-0 as he strips Evgeny Artukin off the puck seconds later, but Galimov stops him with a nice poke check. But Magnitka won't need any more goals on this one. Chris Lee's marker proves to be the only goal scored in 60 minutes. Vasily Koshkin stops 41 shot during his second consecutive shutout, and Magnitka walks away with three points. Spartak Moscow just lost their main sponsor, but they're still on the ice tonight playing Akbars. It's Mikhail Gornakov versus Darren Quint. We pick it up from the second. Tom Wandel jumps out of the penalty box. Nikolai Tugov feeds him, but Wandel can't beat Emil Garipov. Glorious chance is wasted, and we still have donuts on the board. A bit later, Alek Vasha finds a way into the slot with a nice dig, burns to defenseman and Garipov makes another great save. He's in the zone tonight, that kid. Short after that, Akbars has a two-man advantage, Konstantin Karneev lets a rip, ding, off the crossbar and out. What a cannon by Karneev, though. Third period now, Yana Pesanin feeds Dmitry Obakov in the slot, scores! We finally have a goal as Obakov scores his fifth, 1-0 Akbars. 
But just 40 seconds later, Alexei Grisham breaks into the zone, goes for a dig, loses the puck, and Igor Volkov scores on a broken play. That's his fourth of the year, and Spartak strikes right back. 1 1. Just over three minutes after that, though, Kirill Patrov takes a shot through heavy traffic, and he beats Jeff Glass for his 11th of the season to put Akbar's backup by one. And that's gonna be enough for Akbar to take three points on the road. Spartak loses their fourth consecutive home game, and the future looks quite ambiguous for them. Moving on to Minsk Belarus, where Dynamo Minsk plays Dynamo Moscow, an old Dynamo matchup. Dynamo Moscow strikes first as late in the opening frame, Denis Baranzov beat Kevil along with a long shot. That's his first of the year. Early in the second, Leo Komarov has the puck in the left circle, feeds captain Yuri Babenko, he takes a shot, rebound, and Komarov is right there to tuck it in. 2 0 Dynamo Moscow as Komarov scores his tenth of the year. Less than two minutes later, Konstantin Volkov gets into the left circle with a nice little move, feeds Maxim Karpov at hash marks, and there's a slam dunk by the youngster. Nice goal, nice sally, he scores his ninth, and it's 3 0 Dynamo Moscow. Just 15 seconds later, Alex Maturuhin is holed down in the crease, and the ref has no choice but to give him a penalty shot. He shows some six stick handling moves and beat Alex Remyakov for his eighth. Minsk is still trailing by two, though. Last seconds of the second and Dynamo Moscow gets another goal. Konstantin Gurevikov goes for a cross-ice pass from the right circle, it's deflected and it's in the net. Gurevikov gets credited with the goal. 4-1 Dynamo Moscow after 40. Minsk will get a goal early in the third from Andrei Stats in a power play to make it 4-2, but that's as close as they will get. Running champs continue to rock on top of the KHL standings as they beat Dynamo Minsk who currently have the worst record in the West. And the third Dynamo in the KHL, Dynamo Riga, hosts Proctor tonight. The starting goals in this one are Michael Garnett and Michael Talker. Pick it up in the second, Yurisu Pires is chasing the puck down low. Great confusion for Tractor's D. Kyle Wilson has the puck now and he backs it in off Michael Garnett. Smart play by Wilson, good hassle by the Pires, and it's 1 0 Dan Mariga. Third period now, Robert Bookett shields the puck. It's Christian Redlitz on the blue line. Bam! He sends it in with one a hell of a slap shot. Redlitz was his third, and that's going to be enough for Riga to get the W. Michael Duncan stops 27 shots in this one, his third shot out of the season, and Dan Mariga gets another three points. Jakub Kozadek scores his 13th of the season late in the third against Uber on the road, and that proved to be the game winning goal. He to a more final. Nikolaj Zherdev didn't register a single point, but Sevastal still beat Salava Pilai 5 3 on all mice. Pavel did enough with two goals if Genic Arushi with the game win. After he met upset locomotive tonight on the road, beating them 4 2 in regulation, Maxim Rubin picked up three assists in this one. Lukas Kaspar scored two goals and racked up three points as Dombas took down Vigas and all by 5 3. Nikita Zaitsev scored twice for a darker, but they couldn't beat Sloman in Moscow. Sloman won second period 5 1 and holds on to a 5 4 final. Pedro Malikin scored his 16th goal of the year and after Belize beat Arnold at home 5 2 in the final at this one. Medrash and Torpedo come by for zero goals in 65 minutes of the game with the Saturday in the shootout. And he pushed the Slavots into the game here. And that's it for your delegate HL Lapkat. There are just two games left to be played before the international break and we're going to see both of them on Sunday. My name is Andreas Sachin and I'll see you guys later.